Welcome to Hook and Loops. I'm AJ Hart. Today I'm going to crochet the Sweethearts pattern. The tools that I'm using is a 5.5 millimeter boy crochet hook, two stitch markers, I love the yarn by Hobby Lobby, and a pair of scissors. I'm going to start by forming a slip knot. So if you hold your yarn with the short end over the long end, and then you just bring up the long end through that loop, it forms a slip knot. Okay, I'm going to start by crocheting a chain. So all I'm going to do is put the yarn over my hook and pull it through the loop that's already on my hook. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Now for a custom size, chain 29 at the beginning for fringe, chain in multiples of 20 plus 19 at the end, and then chain 30 more for fringe. For an oversized throw, a 57 inch by 70 inch, not counting the fringe, chain 218. When you're done with your chain, cut the yarn and pull the yarn through. I'm going to insert my stitch markers and I'm just going to cut some yarn for my stitch markers. And I'm going to put them into the 30th chain. Now the very first one was the slip knot and I'm going to count that as a chain. So I'm just going to start with that and count back 30. This is where I'm going to insert my stitch marker. Okay, now I'm going to go to the other end and I'm going to count back 30 from the end. And this is where I'm going to insert my other stitch marker. I'm going to form another slip knot and I'm going to chain 29. I'm going to cast on with a single crochet the chain right in front of the marker or right behind it and I'm going to uh, put my hook through and pull the yarn through that chain yarn over and pull through both loops and that's casting on with a single crochet I'm going to put one single crochet into each chain until I get to the marker the other marker on the other side I'm going to skip the video until I get to the end of this row. Okay, I'm at the end of the row and I've got three more single crochets to do until I get to the stitch marker. I'm at the stitch marker so now I'm going to begin to chain 30.
and then I'm going to cut the tail and pull the yarn through. And now we can remove the stitch markers. Okay, I'm going to form another slip knot and I'm going to chain 29. When I'm done with my chain, I'm going to cast on with a single crochet, back loop only, in the first single crochet stitch. So normally we would go through both of the loops to do a single crochet. In this pattern, I'm going to go through the back loop when I do a single crochet. So you're just going to put your hook through the back loop and pull the yarn through. You're going to yarn over and pull through both loops and that's casting on with a single crochet back loop only. I'm going to put in one single crochet back loop only in each single crochet stitch. I'm going to skip the video to the end of this row. Okay, now I'm at the end of the row and I have one more single crochet back loop only to do. And now I'm going to chain 30. When I'm done with the chain, I'm just going to cut the yarn and pull it through. And since I worked into the back loop, the front loop sticks out and I'm going to be using these front loops when I do my double crochets. I'm going to form another slip knot and chain 29. I'm going to cast on with a single crochet back loop only in the first single crochet stitch. I'm going to do one single crochet back loop only in the next 18 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17 and 18. So now I'm going to do one double crochet in the front loop only second row down from hook. So I'm going to yarn over and put my hook through that front loop in the second row down. Pull the yarn through. The yarn over, pull through two loops. The yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And make sure to not work into that single crochet directly behind it. Go into the next stitch. One single crochet back loop only in the next 19 stitches. There's two. Now I'm going to be repeating the pattern from the double crochet. So you're going to do one double crochet front loop only second row down from hook. And then you're going to do one single crochet back loop only in the next 19 stitches. And you're going to keep doing this until the end of the row.
Okay, one double crochet, front loop only, second row down from hook. And again, I'm just repeating the pattern. One single crochet, back loop only in the next 19 stitches. And I'm going to skip the video to the end of this row. And when you get to the end of the row, just chain 30 and cut off a tail and pull it through. Consider subscribing to Hook and Loops. It's free and it's an easy way to find part two. Just click the icon and click subscribe. And thank you for watching.